hi all of you my dearest people on youtube welcome to my channel and today i'll be sketching the little boy you have seen at the beginning of the video i'll be using normal pencils which are always available at a stationery shop which is an hp pencil made for kids another one is this pink pencil which is again another one for kids and also a set of other pencils which are 4B, 8B, 10B and I think 6B. And the sketchbook that I'm using is 140 GSM multimedia sketchbook. You can do a small little water washes onto the sketchbooks as well. But the major thing about this sketchbook is that you can do sketches using charcoals and pencils. Now when you are going to do sketches on your sketchbook, you know, using a pencil, 140 GSM will be good enough. Now just in case if you are going to use a sketchbook for painting, then I would suggest you to go for 300 GSMs or more because you know, you are going to put more layers of paint on top of the sketches. So in order to withhold that amount of water, 300 GSM or more will be much more useful. Getting back to the sketch I'm doing here, I will always start with the face and also with the eyes. But the most important thing is that I'll be using a very light pencil and I will shade, I will make shapes in order to fit the different body parts in that particular, you know, page. So here I am, uh, first I always work with the face because face has always been the central focal point of any human figure which we are drawing. So everybody, even if you are going to click a picture of a human being, you will always look into the eyes or on to the face. So that is why the face is the most important part, even though you have decided on making the focal point a different one, right? But still face will always be very important. Now this little kid will always run away from me. <laughs> He's so cute. And that is why I decided to sketch him in my sketchbook. And also I wanted to study human figures because it's been long since I have done any human sketches. So that is why I just thought that babies are really cute to sketch. And that is why I chose this subject matter. Now this is not one of those sketching sessions where you're giving 10 minutes and you have to draw the human figure seeing the poses of the model right i am going to do a complete sketch of the baby and i am going to talk about a few things of sketching as well as one of my friend here has asked about some of sketching tips so i thought that you know my next video is gonna come up and i will talk about sketching tips in this video right so the most important thing which i found out and which always work is that when you see a human figure the face is one of the most important part you try to put the highest contrast onto the face so you can do that by darkening the eyes and the hair and stuff like that you know you can put the light onto the face and make it the central focal point so central focal point has always been very important even if it is a sketch right so in in case of a sketch you're gonna put the lightest light and the darkest dark near your central focal point here in this sketch the central focal point is going to be the face of this small kid and another thing that i will suggest you guys for doing a sketch another tip that has worked is putting the darkest dark possible with your pencil so here i'm using 8b pencils so 10b was the darkest pencil which i have used so i will still work on darkening the areas a lot you know i really love the dark contrast which the pencils give and the hands of the baby were really cute you know they were like some some small ball that is why they interest me so much so this little kid will always be running away as i have shown you but you know he'll always come here for a treat
also sometimes it get very difficult for me to sketch certain body parts like how i am struggling with the small foot here <laughs> but you know i will tackle this as well so another thing would be that it's okay to make mistakes and it's okay to use uh, erasers in your drawing or your sketches it's totally fine until unless you have made some target of wherein you're not going to use erasers here i was trying to fill up the sketchbook make beautiful sketches and give some sketching tips to you so that is why i decided on you know making it really professional now here again i'm darkening the hair so that the face becomes the central focal point and your eyes are attracted towards the face so this little baby was holding something in his mouth a toy which was a vibrant orange color and i really thought that it was an interesting pose <laughs> so i decided on sketching him that way he was sitting he was sitting in the early morning there on some bricks which were laid down and i thought that what a cute pose and i decided on sketching so uh, if you are confused about sketching subjects then you can choose whatever you like to sketch it's it's always there it's always present everywhere you are so my coach also always talks about having something to sketch now another tip would be uh, if you are struggling with the subject matter then i would suggest you to paint anything which is in front of you and uh, you will never have this problem now i was sitting outside after a while i shifted outside and uh, you know there was no table so i decided on making it using the bricks we were having so it's looking a little weird but yeah it was doing the work for me again i'm going to sketch the face in close up so i'll make very light lines using pencils and then i will sketch on top of it i'll be putting darkest dark in the eye area so that the entire focal point shifts to the eye area now the pencils which i'm using are the normal pencils i mean you don't have to go very fancy in order to do sketchbook sketches You can always always try to work harder on the eyes in order to make them real. I have seen one of the artist and she is having marvelous sketches in her sketchbook. And what she always talks about is having a central focal point and a lot of work on the central focal point itself. Rest all the areas can be left alone or can be made you know little sketchy you don't have to complete all the other areas only the central focal point needs the highest attention of the artist some little kids walking around our house it's it's never silent here so i'm really sorry about all the noises that you are hearing a little bit work on the lips Now this was something I was struggling with, you know. There are certain parts always in the sketch which I will, I will have to give a lot of time on. So lips were another thing which you know you have to work on, because in order to show the luscious lips of the babies, you have to work on it. I mean, you have to show the uh, light areas, the light which is shining on the lip area. darkening up the lips a little bit more now the sketching i have uh, done time lapse and it's not very fast time lapse because i also wanted to talk to you all about sketching and stuff like that i've been in my village and it's really hot and that is why i shifted outside you know normally here in india we don't get a lot of current supply so we have to manage accordingly my laptop sometimes will not be charged enough in order to edit the videos and but that's okay because whenever the current is coming i'll be charging it and recording as much as possible but there are a lot of lot of subject matters which you can paint including the human beings old people young people the kids you know if you are interested in studying anatomy 
which I am but not a lot and also you will find old buildings here the way you know the style of making all these buildings is something different and you can identify by seeing them that these are you know something made by Indians you know we have that certain sort of visual appearance in in terms of buildings as well now here again you know I'm working on the hair putting a lot of contrast on the hair I think I'm using 6b pencil mostly or maybe 8b and 10b because because they're gonna put a lot of dogs into those sketches Loved, loved working on the eyelashes of the baby and by the way his name is Kulu and he became my friend. So working on the eyelashes of Kulu, the little cute kid. It's, it's really cute. I really love the way you know it turned out. Then again after doing this sketch, I decided on doing another close-up of the face because why not? Again, I'm going to put that toy in his mouth which he was posing with. Working on the eyes and I will always make a line between the eyes in that direction like I will see where the face is tilted. So the eyes will lie always around that horizontal line. So you can always determine what is it, where are the eyes going to lie on if the face is little bit tilted. Working on the eyes. Then the nose will come and he's having very, very little cute nose. And uh, yeah, I was also talking about the village, right? So in the village or it's crop season, you know, you are going to grow crops. So it's rice season and then you can harvest them in winters. So everybody is busy with, you know, growing rice and uh, putting the plants out in the field. So it's going to take a lot of time because, you know, you have to go outside on your own and then plant each one of those plants of rice onto the ground. You know what, I shifted outside, when I shifted outside, the sun was shining and I was under the tree and because of that, it was casting a shadow on the sketch. It was a cloudy day, so it will come and go and I am really sorry about that because I did not realize how it was impacting the sketch, you know, the recording session. So, really sorry about the little magic happening right there. Yeah, again, so I'll be putting that small thing in his mouth and trying to draw his cheeks. Also the shadow areas first. See, it was really, uh, it, was, it was hard, but you know, it's okay sometimes to sketch like that. Again, I decided on doing a few more poses of the baby when he was sitting. It was really interesting the way he was sitting and you will see it in this sketch right now. Another tip I would give is also study the muscles of the human body, human person. You know, for example, consider the shape of one of the muscles in the leg and then the shading will go accordingly with the bones and the shape of the leg, of course, but you know, if you study the muscles, it will make your sketches more realistic. Now again, here he is lying on the ground which was again very cute 
another thing of the sketching secrets i would say is to shade the shadow areas only with one particular shade and do not put any details onto it you know by just shading the shadow area is our little guy kolo i was varnishing the sketches and and here are the final results let me know what else would you like to see in the future videos and thank you so much for watching this video you know taking time out to see my video is you know something incredible i mean i feel really happy about people seeing my videos and uh, commenting down below please mention what is the part that you like the most in this video or if you have any questions please comment those also and again thank you so much for watching my videos and again in the next video i'll be coming up with more content so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the like button as well share this video with your friends and family so that they know that you know it takes a lot of time and work in sketching so i will see you in my next video bye guys thank you so much again